Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Today we're asking the question, how do others see you? Thank you so much to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and booking readings with me. It means everything. So pick a pile, one, two, three, and four. Oh, and I am doing another giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. You just have to be subscribed and leave a comment and you are in the running. I'm going to move on to pile number one. Hello, my beautiful and talented pile number one. How do others see you? How do others see you? How do others see pile number one? <laughs> Do you want to come out to you? Okay. So you have both the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. I'm getting that people see you as somebody who is extraordinarily sensitive but may have closed themselves off due to betrayal. The, that you have become a little bit more distant. Like, uh, and it's, it's like something um, non-trivial happened. Where, where you went from being the, the most sensitive to the most willing to let go. With the Seven of Cups, do they see you as somebody who's confused? Do they see you as seeing illusion? Do they see you as not being able to pick? All right, I'm gonna give some clarity on the Seven of Cups. Got the King of Hearts. Did the King of Hearts, did the King of Hearts have a, yeah. Uh, I think perhaps you found somebody that you felt was, you know, really perfect for who you are. But um, it's like they didn't make the choice which left you feeling betrayed. Other people see, uh, with the Knight of Swords, can I get some clarity on the Knight of Swords? Is somebody coming forward with action? Are you just moving forward? Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Yeah. You're really determined to move on and drop your burdens. Yeah, you don't want to stay in this energy. Uh, you But yes, it was a very hard lesson. People uh, see you as somebody who may have gotten hardened um, by um, by a life experience by somebody who is supposed to care. How do people see pile number one? How do people <laughs> how do people see pile number one? So you got the ten of ones twice. Are you still holding on? Are you just really, really wanting to drop this burden? It's like people see you as somebody who really wants to drop this burden, who does not want to deal with the same cycles or are the same people. Yeah. Um, with the four 
of Pentacles? Do they see you as somebody who holds back? Or are you somebody who holds on too tight? Like, uh, and people see that maybe you've held on too tight to something before. Maybe to something that ended up just being a burden to you. But you are actively healing. And you're healing from this heartbreak. And you got the Queen of Swords again. You're, you're ready to, you're really ready to let go. People see you as really ready, uh, ready to let go, really ready to, to, to cut things off. And like really wanting to like no longer be burdened. Like I've dropped the burden, I will just heal. Like I'll I'll move. Uh, it's it's like, you know, being super loving, and then I will, you know, cut this out. Whatever it was, it was very very painful to you. Yeah. How do others see you? They see you as somebody who's moving forward with the fool. How do others see you? It's like, I will cut ties, I will move, I will do whatever it takes. It's just, I'm not going to do this anymore. That's about half the deck. Pardon me. <laughs> All right. So they see you as somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you got the Queen of Swords a third time. So every deck that had a Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords came out. Like people see you as somebody that. I think they see you as somebody who's been wronged, but at the same time has just remained, like, strong. That you will cut out what doesn't, you're, you're gonna cut out what doesn't serve you. You just will. You may also be an air sign, but I think you also might just be a, a water sign, too. Yeah, some of you are definitely a water sign. It's just... I think that you've gotten hurt, uh, or people see you as gotten hurt to the point that you you just won't deal with it anymore. So you're gonna, you know, move forward and manifest. People see you bringing in luck, and also ending nasty cycles. They see you as as cutting out you know, people who were, were kind of bringing, uh, like maybe karmic partners from the past, some, uh, maybe whatever bad cycle, um, they see you as cutting that out and only accepting, and you're like turning and changing your, your, your you with your force of will alone is changing the wheel of, of fortune to your benefit. You're like, I will not deal with the same thing over and over. Yeah. So I've got the king of wands. Are you the king of wands? Is this the... Per okay. I think that uh, maybe the person who hurt you, yeah, it might be represented by the king of wands. Uh, maybe they, you know, did not consider your feelings, um, but did, yeah, I get that they definitely didn't consider their feelings, um, but maybe they, um, maybe they used you physically. Um, and 
is, you know, and I think that you're definitely, I see you as done with this. Like, yeah. People see you as a valuable person to, like, have an attachment with. They see you as valuable. So whatever... Whatever you think, you know, yeah, people see you as valuable. I think you, because you're just so determined. Like, people are kind of inspired by that. Um, people are definitely impressed with you. You, you have a very um, strong energy. Yeah. People see you as strong. People see you as moving forward. People see you as, as not putting up with things that you shouldn't. Yeah. And it's almost like it's about time. So I don't know if you had been dealing with this person or this cycle for a long time. Um, but it, it's like, um, you know, we hear divine timing over and over again. Like, uh, you know, the time, uh, it's almost like any time that you had to, to, to you, you know, uh, it's like the time is up. Yeah. You just, it's gone. Yeah. And you are somebody who with the owl is very intelligent, uh, but, uh, but more than that wisdom. Because obviously with all those Queen of Swords, you're very intelligent, but wisdom is the practical application. So you have learned to apply. You have uh, learned to use your life experience. So I have the nurture kind of uh, charm. Is this part of your self-nurture? I, I mean, I get that... You are... At your very core, a very, a very kind person. Um, and I think that you're naturally a nurturer. I think you came into a situation where you were not being nurtured. So I don't know if this is future nurture or the nurture you give yourself. Or just that there is nothing wrong with being a nurturing person. Um, it's just not, not everybody is deserving of it. And, you know, they, they can't be deserving of you if they treat you badly. It's just, it, it, you know, I don't care, you know, I don't care if they have a million dollars, you know, I don't care if, if they're the most handsome person or a beautiful person. Uh, if they treat you badly, they cannot deserve you. Yeah. I think that you've really came into your strength and really set, like, pr really strong boundaries. Um, you're, you're determined to move forward. You're doing your healing. Yeah. You're, you're being yourself on, on your, your deepest level. And I think that you're taking the steps to move forward. I have the believe charm. So some of you... I think... So, I mean, I think some of you have had, like, a bit of loss of faith throughout this process um just because it has been rough yeah um but i think that you've also found an internal belief in yourself as well um i mean for some of you some of you still need to get there yeah some of you still need to get there but you I know that it's, it, you know, when things like this happen, it's easy to feel weak. Yeah, and I think you you might feel weak, uh, but you ha have been unbelievably strong. You have shown 
an enormous amount of dignity and you are bringing in a brand new beginning holding your boundaries and changing your changing the things uh, in front of you changing the changing what the universe is going to offer you because you're not going to accept things i've got the cat so some of you may have a cat some of you i mean i'm getting like some of you are just adorable people yeah for some of you you're just adorable people um and i think it's okay to celebrate to celebrate your passion like i i think that there that you actually uh, that you are also a passionate person um that it is okay to celebrate it um but also that it's valuable and you know not everybody is worth your time i've got the sister charm hermana um i don't uh, you may have a sister who's very close you may have an issue with a sister Okay, you may have an issue with the sister. Can I get any more information on the issue with the sister? I mean, for some of you, you, you may just have like, you know, close bonds, but I feel like for somebody in particular, they have an issue with their sister. What issue? Yeah, it's like dishonesty with the seven of, of wands, like, I don't know if, uh, I mean, that that's, they could be stealing, they could be, you know, really not being consistent. I think somebody's really not being consistent. Um, you know, it's not, um, it, it's not an energy of somebody, um, you know, meaning well. It's, it's an energy of like a deep, um, a deep selfishness. So I don't know if somebody needed to hear that. Okay, I think that somebody needed to hear that. Otherwise, you may, some other people may have a really close relationship. Yeah, there, there's some of you that just have a really close relationship with, with your sister. But I think at least somebody <laughs> needed to hear that, no, it really is not coming from a good place. And I'm sorry to hear that. But you are bringing in abundance. Um, you're also bringing in peace. And I think you might be offering peace to other people. But I think that you're doing that even though you're, you know, you do have that really, really emotionally sweet center. I think that you also, you know, you're doing it from a place of, of keeping your boundaries pretty high. Yeah. I think that you're you're definitely you're you're using your head and you're working on your confidence. And you know, people do feel attached to you. So, I want to say thank you. If for any reason you want to, you know, a reading, I do those. <laughs> and I'm very grateful for everybody who's booked with me. Otherwise, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. And if you potentially want a free reading, I'm doing another giveaway as soon as I reach 2,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you have commented and uh, are subscribed and you're in the running. So thank you, and we're gonna move on to pile number two. Hello, pile number two. Let's see. <laughs> How do others see you? How do others see you, pile number two? How do others see you? Pile number two. How do people see pile number two? How do others see you? Uh, 
Um, so people see you as somebody who takes quick action that is, you know, yeah. <laughs> you have uh, you have the Knight of Swords, which is the quickest knight. And then you have the Chariot, which is the, you know, the Major Arcanos movement card. Like you are somebody who is healing. You are somebody who... As soon, uh, as soon as you've got that healing, it's just like moving, like shooting forward like a comet. And it's like people see you as somebody that is, you know, finding happiness within yourself. And, you know, like really, like you are, are just, you know, I've got to fix this, but then I'm running towards my goal. It, it's, it's, you know, like it's an impressive energy. Yeah. How do others see you? How do others see you? Well, they see you as, as somebody that is wise, but maybe a little bit, um, maybe somebody also keeps to themselves. Yeah. That, yeah, they see you as wise, but maybe somebody who keeps to themselves. And they think that you do this because of heartbreak, but they also believe that you are healing that heartbreak because this is the next succession. Like, you're like, you're like, I will evaluate and then I will go inside, evaluate, lick my wounds, you know, deal with the pain, heal the pain, get my wish fulfillment. Yeah, you're, <laughs> which I have to say, it's, it's just impressive. You're like, okay, I've got to heal. I'll do the thing I need to do to heal. I'm going to do any self-discovery so that I, that I won't, you know, get in the same thing again. Yeah. Okay, the death card. So like you're, they see you as somebody who I think that you're definitely willing to, to cut, you know, just say, I'm never, I'm not doing this type of pain again. Like that is done. I, I will become new. I will have my rebirth. Notice how similar the symbology is. You're like, okay, I'll go inside. I'll figure out what I need to do right because I'm not doing the same mistake. So you're you're not somebody who goes around on the wheel over and over again. You're like, I got a lesson. I learned my lesson. There's going to be more things in life, but I don't ever have to go back and learn that lesson. I'm just going to be a new person who doesn't have to learn that lesson anymore. So yeah, you're very wise. And that's why you're manifesting your dreams into fruition. Manifest or dream come true, you know? You're like, yeah, bad things happen. Bad things happen. I'm not going to relive those bad things. I'm just going to manifest what I want. So... So people see you as somebody, you know, that you just process things. I think that they see you as very, like, like extraordinarily emotionally intelligent. And like really willing to like move from one experience to the other experience. Like it's not that you don't take your, it's not that you don't feel the pain and it's not that you don't, you know consider it but you're like okay I'll do the healing and then I will get on to something that's better yeah 
Yeah. You're like, yeah, I'm just going to turn the wheel. I mean, I'm not going to go around and around and around on the wheel. I'm like, okay, well, we got this where I'm going to like, I'm going to like make things be positive. I'm only going to deal with things that are truthful and I'm going to concentrate on, on like my own integrity, my own victory, my own moving forward. Um, I do have the seven of swords. Is, is this your past or is this somebody uh, that was okay? I, I'm mostly getting for most of you that um, you dealt with, you know, people who didn't mean you well in the past. And you are cutting that completely out of your life. That is dead to you now. And then uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, is this you? Is this somebody else? Okay, is, is for most of you, this is you? Okay, for most of you, this is you. That you are somebody who is, you know, going to just be practical and bring in abundance. Um, that you, you have a wish, com uh, that you're manifesting whatever you want. You're manifesting in abundance. Um, I think for a smaller percentage, yeah, a smaller percentage, it's almost like you're bring uh, that you're manifesting uh, a love interest back into your life. Somebody who was uh, very caring, very practical. But for most of you, you you are just taking the energy of somebody who's very abundant. You are being. Uh, it's like you figured out that you can be whatever you want, that you can manifest whatever you want, and you're like, okay, I'll do the manifesting. I'll turn the wheel in my favor. Yeah, and I'll, I'll learn the lesson so I don't need to relearn it. It's 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 very like conscious it's it's almost like you're 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 like consciously manifesting better things and if you're afraid that it's not working because you still have some pain yeah some of you think that you know you're still feeling pain so it can't be but you know you you are um it's not about not feeling pain i mean obviously you want to to be in the greatest you, you know you want to bring forward you know, positive things, but you still need to deal with your pain. And you're like, okay, I'm doing the healing. You're, you're, it's almost like, I guess those weren't meant for this. Well. <laughs> it's almost like you're, you're just, you know, making whatever you want for me to happen. Uh, yeah, so with this rat, are you, well, I think somebody the other day was saying that they were year of the rat. I don't know if that's uh, them, but I think, um, I think you have the seven of wands somewhere in here. Uh, not the seven of wands, the seven of swords. Like for some of you, you need to hear that there was dishonest behavior just so that or at least other people perceive that dishonest behavior happened. That, you know, it, it wasn't just in your head. You're not alone thinking it. But, you know, you have the key to, you know, your own heart. And you have the key to bringing in abundance. And you really do have a beautiful heart. And you keeping this, uh, your heart so full of love is one of the things that's manifesting all these beautiful things for you. Yeah. You're just bringing in, you're bringing in what you, uh, what you want because like you're, you're ending things that do not serve you. You're doing your inner work. 
yeah, again, like you're, you've cut out what doesn't serve you. You're making a whole new beginning for yourself. You're turning the wheel away from, you know, heartbreak. Yeah. And you're just, you're like, I'll heal and I'm moving on. I'm just, there, there's no more waiting in you. It's just, it's just going to happen. And it's going to happen because you willed it to happen. Um, because you're, you're bringing in comfort, something that feels like home. You're, you're concentrating on being the best person that you're capable of being. You're being who you are on a fundamental level. And you're taking responsibility for yourself. Uh, and and you're releasing what you what isn't your responsibility. Yeah, you're just you had the death. You're doing the rebirth. You're going forward. You're healing. You're conquering. Yeah, and um, you know your your connections are going to bring you in good fortune. You are going to bring in. Oh man, I got a little hair there. Uh, you're, you're going to bring in loving attachments. Um, and I mean, things are going to like be brighter, be more fun. But I think it's largely because with the dragon, you've come into your power in a real, um, significant way. So I just want to say thank you, Pile 2. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I reach 2,000 subscribers. So just be subscribed and leave a comment. Otherwise, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and, and booking readings from me. It really matters, and I'm appreciative. So we're going to move on to Pile number four. I said four, and it's three. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if four is significant. Okay, for somebody four is significant. For others of you, I just look silly, but that's okay. <laughs> How do others see you, pile number three? How do others see you, pile number three? How do others see you? How do others see you? Is it this one? That one. Okay. People see you as independent and powerful. They see you as somebody who manifests in what they want. So they see you like you're, you're independent. Uh, you may, you may even be, you know, successful, like, in, um, you really do know how to manifest good things in for you. With this King of Cups, are you the King of Cups? Is this, this is somebody else the King of Cups? Huh, okay, and, and I think for some of you, you do have a King of Cups in your, uh, in your life, like um, somebody, is it somebody who cares about you, somebody has feelings for you? It, it, is this like an admirer hijacking your reading? Okay, for some of you, there's like an admirer that is kind of hijacking your reading a little bit. So um, they see you as all these good things, and I think that they would also like to manifest you into their life. Um, they might see you as trying to manifest them in, which may or may not be an illusion. <laughs> um, but you are somebody... Okay, this person definitely fantasizes about you. Um, but over and above that, um, you do have a lot of options and you kind of have to be careful about what you choose. How do others see you? How do others see you? How do others see you? Because I saw the Knight of Wands right now, uh, right then, but then I saw it right next to the Six of Cups. 
the page of cups and the seven the seven of cups came up again um do most people see you as a little bit confused or do is, is this mostly regarding the other person okay i think you're you're the other person sees you as their soulmate uh and doesn't believe that you see them It's kind of like, I wonder if they're going to notice me energy. It's like, I wonder if they'll, they'll like, I have fantasies, but like, I wonder if, if they're going to see that we were meant to be together. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, do they see you as the Knight of Wands? I, I think people are very physically attracted to you. Uh, like, they... They want to take um, action in that way. Um, with the Page of Cups, do they see? Do people see you as very youthful, um, very young? Because uh, I have a lot of young energy here. Um, I mean, that may be for some of you, um, but is somebody? Does somebody want to give you an offer? Okay, it's almost like somebody like wants to like offer you some kind words as well um but it's kind of like at the starting stage like like where, where the six of the six of cups that is more a loving energy but the other ones it's almost like this person may not even know you that well yet yeah Pile number three. How do others see pile number three? See you as a winner with the uh, with the six of wands. They see you as somebody who's just victorious. Um, they see you as somebody who is strong by themselves. The star just jumped out. They see you as somebody that you know really stands out. Some of you could be in the public eye. Yeah, some of you could be in the public eye. Hmm. I think, did you get the Nine of Cups twice? No, I think that might be the other reading. Um, so, people see you as somebody who is successful, is solid by themselves, who, you know, is manifesting in wish fulfillment, that is somebody who is, like, you know, like, inspirational, um, I do, however, have the Seven of Swords here. Does somebody think that you're running away from something? Um, does somebody think that you're dishonest? Do you need to be aware of dishonest? Okay. Like, people think that you do need to be aware of dishonest people in your uh, environment. Can I get some clarity on the Seven of Swords, please? Yeah. Does somebody think that you're emotionally investing into somebody that is uh, that's not trustworthy? Okay. Like it's almost like uh, at least somebody thinks that you're you're putting only your love and affection into somebody who's not trustworthy. This, but this is also the opinion of others. Um, but I am going to get a little card for you just to see. I'm mostly getting that you're taking care of yourself, that you're, you're, um, that you are like single, you are, you know, independent, you're taking care of things. Um, tell me about this person that people think might be dishonest. Got the eight of wands. Tell me about this person that other people think might be dishonest. 
Well, it seems like it's a burden to you. Yeah, I think um, with the Eight of Wands, does this person come in with a lot of communication? Or is, is it like that you you want to have a lot of communication with this person? It's, it's almost like people see you as wanting to have communication, a lot of communication with this person. But uh, mostly they see it as a burden on you. Um, that maybe they think that you should do some self-reflection and that it causes some... Um, some strife for you. That being said, this is other people's opinion. I get mostly that you're really, um, you're really just working on being the best person that you can be, that you're really putting most of your energy towards yourself and not really other people. But this is a perception. Yeah. You are just working to be the best human being you're capable of being. Um, you're you're somebody that's healthy that people want to like grow a strong relationship with. You're somebody who is very valuable, and people see how valuable and how attractive you are. Like you've gone through a metamorphosis and only become more beautiful. Yeah, with uh, it, it's. It's like maybe you did have a lot of twists and turns, um, but it only, you know, only made your heart more beautiful. People really see you, uh, and people also think that you're intelligent. Um, yeah, people see that you are one of a kind, interesting, beautiful. Like, they... They see being around you as like nourishing some of you, uh, maybe doing a lot of cooking, <laughs> but then again, a lot of people are right now, uh, but it may be a passion for some of you. Yeah, it, it's mostly like you have taken responsibility for yourself and your life path. And it was really time to do this. So you're just, you know, in, in investing your time and energy, investing your pentacle into like, into some kind of new beginning. Um, yeah. I think there are some people who think you might be a little blind to something. Maybe you're, you're willfully not seeing something. Um, but you ha uh, they see you as having a lot going beyond, uh, below the surface. There's just like, this stone has a lot of, you know, small sparkles that come out between. Uh. So with this, you're, you're, is it you're nurturing or, because it's almost like, uh, you're deserving of nurture. I'm, I'm not, I, I get that you, you may be a nurturer. Um, and I get that you're trying to pull your energy, but it, it's almost like, um, people want you to allow people to nurture you. Yeah, but you're moving on emotionally. Um, you may be moving forward with other people emotionally. Um, yeah, you're, you're taking action and moving forward. It's interesting because the, the cat charm was just sitting on the sister charm. Um, do you have a really close relation? I feel like you have a really close relationship with your sister. Um, for some of you, th there could be a little bit of on and off kind of energy. Um, in, in just that, you know, sometimes you're getting together, uh, getting along more well than others, but I think that there's a lot of affection. Um, with the two cats, it's like, uh, 
it's like somebody sees you as, as I think somebody sees you as their soulmate, like sees you as a somebody that's, uh, you know, completely fitting for them. It's uh, for some of you, that person wants a reunion. Uh, for a lot of you, I, th I don't think that you've been in this connection before, but they they see you as that person. Um, with uh, this dinosaur, it's kind of like a, you know, silly, more kind of toy dinosaur. It's like, it's almost like you're willing to, while you are powerful, you're also willing to, you know, be silly. I've got the, the seahorse. Some of you, like, if you're male, you might be a father. Uh, if so, people see you as a good father. Um, if not, like, it's it's almost like, uh, you know, somebody's really, really up in their emotions and feelings about you, really fantasizing about a whole life with you, like really, really up in their head. And then, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's like, it's like they're planning your wedding. Um, but I'm not sure how, how well, uh, you know, this has come into reality. Um, but they definitely see you as, you know, somebody who's just bringing good things in their life that, and, you know, it's like they they want to start the process. They want to show you that they care. They want to uh, they they want to you know have passionate experiences with you. Uh, but they see you as like being um, being really good on your own, and you know. A, you know, healing up, glowing up, being your best self, you know, being a winner, being happy. But they're, they're almost, I, I don't know, uh, do they run away? I, I'm not even getting that. I think that maybe, uh, but, but they're like, I feel like they, they, I'm not really feeling, because I do feel like there's a specific person uh, that wanting to send some energy. But, um, but it's like they're, they're afraid that somebody's going to be dishonest towards you. Um, and they, you know, and they're afraid that you're going to deal with, you know, bad things. But it, it's almost, I don't really understand where they're coming from because they don't seem to be coming forward. So... But I think that they might be be afraid that you will find somebody um, that you'll be super happy with, uh, and it will be without them. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two once I hit 2,000 subscribers. So just be subscribed and comment, and then you're in the running. And if by any chance uh, you like, share, subscribe, or book a reading with me, it's very appreciated. And we're going to move on to pile number four. Hello, my beautiful and talented pile fours. <laughs> so how do others view you? How do others view you? How do others view pile four? Okay, how do others view pile four? How do others view pile four? How do others view pile four? Man, should I take this card? No, okay. This is interesting because I've got the star, the four of pentacles, the five of swords, and the queen of pentacles. 
So, I mean, they see you as somebody who really stands out. Um, maybe somebody who has really, you know, I'm getting inspirational. I'm, I, I'm getting, you know, star power. But what is this five of swords? What do, do they think? It, it's weird because I've got this, which are two very trustworthy cards. Then I have the five of swords. Tell me about this Five of Swords, please. Tell me about this Five of Swords. So Spirit decided that I was going to clarify the Five of Swords with the Five of Wands. It's like there's, there's some competition. There's some, you know, there's some, you know really harsh disagreement it, it, do the people see that you're do people feel that you're being mistreated okay i think people feel that you are being mistreated that um somebody is treating you very badly that you are somebody who is very you know who is very loyal very loving very um you know, if it's a, for some of you, this could be in like a job. I also see 505 on the clock. So, um, for some, and you got two fives. So five might be significant. You might be going through a lot of changes right now. Um, you also got the four of pentacles. What's going on with the four of pentacles? Do people feel that you're holding back? Do feel, people feel that you're holding on too tightly to something? Please explain the five, uh, four of pentacles. The nine of cups. Is somebody like being very greedy? Okay, are you being very greedy? It's like somebody is being very greedy. Um, and it's almost like somebody's. Somebody's kind of, you know, smug about it. Uh, smug about being greedy and, and like people uh, see that there's somebody who you know wants to compete and doesn't really care whether they hurt you um, and you know are may is maybe holding back opportunities from you that would you know help kind of, uh, help your emotional fulfillment and I think that they they are that for whatever reason, this gives them a little bit of joy. Or at least the people perceive that. That this person, you know, that this person doesn't mean you well. How do people perceive you? People perceive you, however, as somebody who is really sweet, really kind. Um, they see you as somebody who... You know, I, I, I've got, like, a level of innocence. Um, they see you as somebody who's really loving. Um, they see you as somebody who's easy to be friends with. So, I mean... It's like you you do bring in a lot of, as much as there's, I feel like there, there is one person or maybe a group of people. Yeah, for some of you, it's a group of people. But for most people, oh, people see you as somebody who's really awesome. Maybe that's why you're being targeted. Oh, yeah, you might be being targeted because you're somebody that is actually really very likable. And um, some people... Some people have a problem with that. You also got a third five card coming out. You got the five of cups. So yeah, people perceive you as having really gone through a rough time. Um, but that being said, they, they see you coming out on top at the end. They see that you're that you're somebody who is amazing and that you are somebody who's very practical, who, 
I, I feel like I, I need to say that they, that they see you as somebody who also does a very good job. So if somebody that, that, that if this is like in your workplace, um, you, you're, uh, no matter what, you know, craziness this is, uh, people see you still as somebody who is like an excellent worker. Um, but, you know, but they, they see you as somebody who, like, can be abundant no matter what, you, because you have the, the, you know, the Six of Wands here. You've also got the Six of Wands and the Six of Cups, and you have the Six of Pentacles. So, I know a lot of people, uh, some of you are going to freak out, but, like, in numerology, uh, aside from that, um... I mean, that is the, the frequency of love, and that's balance, you know? So you are somebody who's balanced. They see you as somebody who, you know, is very loving and, like, they want to support. Um, they see you as somebody who is going to achieve. Uh, they see somebody who is going to get equal give and take. Um, and they see you as somebody who's, like... It's like you, you've made the decision to move forward. Like, and, and that uh, they see, they, they think that your ships will come in, that things will pay off for you. So, like, people have a very high opinion of you. Yeah, so, I mean, the, the people just don't want you to panic. They understand that you're going through disappointment and, and heartbreak regarding, you know, this really unfair behavior. But um, they see you as somebody who's, who's you know, transitioning, um, who's moving from one one state to another like uh, they see you as somebody who if you're if you're moving forward if you it's like you're moving forward to bigger and better things um this was attached to the back i think um is the, is it that you haven't really been have you been kind of like having to protect yourself or i think that you have a bad friend you, you may have somebody that, um, you know, wants bad things for you and, you know, is pretending to be somebody that they're not. Um, so people want you to, people want you to be aware that you may have somebody you need to, to that you, they see you as somebody you will overcome, but somebody you need to cut out of your life. Yeah. Um, because people want more of this happiness for you. Yeah, is this is this that same person? Yeah. Like, there's somebody who's just... Who is lying to you and really does not have your best intention at heart. Um, or at least that's how other people see it. Um, but they see you as something special. They see you as, as something that's one of a kind, something that's beautiful, something that's wonderful, something that really makes, you know, people, you know, open their heart to you. Somebody that, you know, is very impressive, um, who's, you're a very healing energy to be around. And they see you as somebody who's going to find situations where you know, both needs are met, uh, everybody's needs are met, you, you know, um, they might also see you as somebody who's very generous, yeah, they see you as somebody very generous, and, you know, and they, and they just want you to, you know, move away from, like, whoever is trying to, like, it's almost like they're trying to withhold your happiness, and, you know, they can only do that if you let them, but you're being, um, this, uh, nurturing, practical, smart person. And, um, people see, 
can, that a connection with you is a prosperous connection. People see that you're somebody who takes responsibility for your own actions. People see that... <laughs> People see the transformation that you have gone through. And they, I know you can't really see it on camera, but there's all sorts of sparkles underneath the surface. People see you as, as more than, you know, what, that you have greater depth than, than they first knew. Um, I've got the seahorse charm. Um, if you're male, some of you may be a father. Um... And if so, like people see you as a good father. People see you as somebody who really takes care of other people and really takes care of your children. Um, somebody, uh, or this is also, the, the seahorse is almost also about persistence. Like the seahorse is actually not even that strong of a swimmer, but you know, over time, it's found its niche, it moves forward, it figures out, it's, it, it, it is a persistent creature. So, people see you in a very, um, very high light. Um, people just see that, that you may have to cut somebody out. But they don't, they don't believe that other person, by the way, it's 515 on the clock now, and it was 505 earlier. Like, so people see like change coming for you uh, that you can manifest it in. So I just really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And if you like, share, subscribe, all of that really matters. And I appreciate it. If you want a free reading, I'm doing two as soon as I get uh, 2,000 subscribers. So just be subscribed and leave a comment and you're in the running. So I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. And also to everybody who, who's booked personal readings with me. I, I really appreciate that too.